Thanks for watching, every TV dear viewers. Welcome to our news broadcast. Here are the headlines. World Diabetes Day observed nationwide. Meeting to strengthen organizational capacity of youth in the forum. Mozambique announces first liquefied natural gas export shipment. Opposition protesters scuffle with police in Albania. In our domestic news, World Diabetes Day 14 November was observed yesterday, 13 November, in Asmara at regional level under the theme Expand Access to Diabetes Care indicating that the number of diabetes patients that was about 4,600 in 2018 has currently increased to 6,800 and the death rate due to the disease is uh, steadily increasing from time to time. Mr. Mulugeta Haile, head of the Ministry of Health branch in the Central Region, said that strong effort will be exerted to raise the awareness of the public on the causes and consequences of the disease commending the effort on the part of the Ministry of Health to raise the awareness of the public and supply of medicines. Colonel Gabrahanis Walda Gergish, Director General of Social Service in the region, expressed readiness of the regional administration to stand alongside the ministry in all its endeavours. Dr. Goitom Mabratu, Chairman of the National Diabetes Association of Eritrea, on his part, said that the objective of the observance of World Diabetes Day is to develop the understanding of the public and call on patients to practice regular diet and physical exercise, for they are decisive weapons to combat diabetes. A meeting with a view to strengthen organizational capacity of youth and enable them play due part in ensuring the noble societal values was conducted to youth from several institutions and administrations in Foro Subzone. Speaking at the event, Mr. Mohamed Said, member of the Executive Committee of Youth Workers Organization in the Northern West region, explained on the significant role youth in general and influential youth in particular have in the nation-building process and in transferring the noble societal values to the young generation. At the occasion, 45 youth from government institutions in Foro Subzone that were provided training on administration and leadership graduated. Mr. Osman Ahmadine, head of the National Union of Eritrean Youth and Students Branch and the Subzone, called on the trainees to apply the training they have required, rather, they have received in the effective implementation of the programs of the union. Pointing out that the training program that has been organized in the past has uh, significant and commendable results, Mr. Tahlazare, head of political and organizational affairs at the New East branch and the Northern Red Sea region, said that similar training programs will be organized in the other subzones of the region. The digital library put in place in Adkwala High School is contributing in the development of teaching learning process as well as in developing the capacity of students and culture of reading. Mr. Tesfai Tesfai Mikhail, director of the school, said the digital library put in place in the high school is enabling students get the information they need, both in audio and photo, and has been deemed effective at developing the overall capacity and competence of the students, as well as teachers. Mr. Tesfai Habtu, head of education in Adkwala Subzone on his part, said that the digital library is expected to alleviate the problem of the students in getting access to technology to find information and call for putting in place digital libraries in the other schools in the subzone. Indicating that the digital library will have significant contribution in their educational performance, the students commended the opportunity they were provided with. That was our domestic news. Please stay tuned for the international right after the short break. Mozambique has officially started exporting liquidified natural gas produced in the country. President Felipe Nusi made the announcement Sunday, November 13. 
It is the first shipment of gas under a long-term purchase and state con- contract with British giant BP, the offshore plant located in the Cabo Delgado province in managed by the Italian energy company Eni Mozambique has set high hopes on vast natural gas deposits, the largest ever found in the sub-Sahara Africa that were discovered in the northern Cabo Delgado province in 2010. Once tapped, Mozambique could become one of the world's 10 biggest exporters. According to the BP 2021 Statistical Review of World Energy, Africa is home to over 620 trillion cubic feet of natural gas reserves. Through the production of LNG for domestic use and export, leaders hope to support industrialization schemes. Opposition protesters scuffled with police in front of the office of Prime Minister Eddie Rama on Saturday, November 12, where tens of thousands of uh, gathered to protest against corruption, rising poverty and a growing number of people leaving the country. After demonstrating peacefully for around three hours, protesters broke through the police cordon area around the government building and through red and black paint. Police arrested one protester. Others lighted candles in memory of two men that, according to the opposition, died while in police custody. British ministers say Albanians are behind a surge of migrants crossing the English Channel and that some of them are involved in organized crime. Please tune up for a recap of tonight's headlines. World Diabetes Day observed at regional level. Meeting to strengthen organizational capacity of youth in the subzone. Mozambique announces first liquefied natural gas export shipment. Opposition protesters scuffle with police in Albania. Those are news. It is good night from us.